Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice radical expression cube root of square root of 5 minus 2. Since this is square root of 5, this square root of 5 is greater than this 2. Square root of 5 is greater than 2. So, this expression square root of 5 minus 2 square root of 5 minus 2 must be greater than 0. So, this whole expression cube root of square root of 5 minus 2 must be greater than 0. Now, let us suppose that let x is equal to this expression cube root of square root of 5 minus 2 and we suppose that y is equal to cube root of square root of 5 plus 2. Now, from here if we take a cube of both sides then x cubed is equal to square root of 5 minus 2 and if we take a cube root of both sides of this equation then y cubed is equal to square root of 5 plus 2. Now, we subtract this equation from this equation. We write this left side of this equation x cubed minus left side of this equation y cubed is equal to right side of this equation square root of 5 minus 2 minus right side of this equation square root of 5 plus 2. Next x cubed minus y cubed is equal to we remove these brackets square root of 5 minus 2 due to this minus this square root of 5 becomes negative square root of 5 and this plus 2 becomes negative 2. Next x cubed minus y cubed is equal to this positive square root of 5 will be cancelled with this negative square root of 5. In this negative 2 minus this 2 minus 4. We name this equation equation 1. Now, we multiply this equation by this equation. We have supposed that we have supposed that x is equal to cube root of square root of 5 minus 2 and y is equal to cube root of square root of 5 plus 2. Now, we find the product of these two equations. We multiply this x by this y. x times y is equal to and we multiply this expression cube root of square root of 5 minus 2 times this expression cube root of square root of 5 plus 2 and x y is equal to we can write this uh, cube root of uh, square root of 5 minus 2 multiply by cube root of uh, square root of 5 plus 2 as cube root of square root of 5 minus 2 times square root of 5 plus 2. Next x y is equal to according to this algebraic identity a minus b times a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. We can write this as square root of 5 minus 2 times square root of 5 plus 2 as square root of 5 squared minus 2 squared. Next x y is equal to this square will be cancelled with this square root and here left 5 minus 
2 squared is 4 and x y is equal to 5 minus 4 1 we name this equation equation 2 now from equation 1 equation 1 is x cubed minus y cubed is equal to negative 4 equation 1 is x cubed minus y cubed is equal to negative 4 this is equation 1 and according to this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b this uh, x cubed minus y cubed is equal to x minus y times x squared plus x y plus y squared is equal to negative 4 next x minus y times we change the position of this x y we write this x y in the last we write this x squared first x squared then we write this plus y squared plus y squared in the last we write this plus x y plus x y is equal to negative 4 next x minus y times now in this expression x squared plus y squared we subtract 2xy and we add 2xy in the form of 0 like this x squared plus y squared minus 2xy plus 2xy and in the last we write this plus xy plus x y is equal to negative 4 next x minus y times now this expression x squared plus y squared minus 2 x y is a perfect square according to this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared minus 2 a b is equal to a minus b whole squared this expression x squared plus y squared minus 2 x y is equal to x minus y whole squared and this uh, 2 x y plus 1 x y plus 3 x y is equal to negative 4 next x minus y times x minus y whole squared plus in place of uh, this x y we put the value of x y from here 1 3 times value of x y 1 is equal to negative 4 next x minus y times x minus y whole squared plus 3 times 1 3 is equal to negative 4 now we multiply this x minus y by this x minus y whole squared and by this 3 x minus y times x minus y whole squared x minus y whole cubed and x minus y times this 3 plus 3 times x minus y is equal to negative 4 now here we have x minus y and here we have x minus y so we suppose that let x minus y is equal to m we substitute m in this equation then this equation becomes m cubed plus 3m is equal to negative 4 now we move this negative 4 to the left side m cubed plus 
3m this negative 4 becomes positive 4 at the left side it's equal to 0 now this is a cubic equation and can be solved by factorization m cubed plus 3m we split this 4 as we split this 4 as 1 plus 3 we split this plus 4 as plus 1 plus 3 is equal to 0 now because this one this one is equal to 1 cubed so we write this one with this m cubed like this m cubed plus this one we can write this one as 1 cubed plus this 3m 3m and this plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0 now according to this algebraic identity a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared this uh, m cubed plus 1 cubed can be factorized as m plus 1 times m squared plus m plus 1 and from these two terms uh, plus 3 m plus 3 we can factor out plus 3 plus 3 as a common factor and in bracket left m plus 1 is equal to 0 now as you can see this expression m plus 1 m plus 1 is a common factor so we factor out this m plus 1 m plus 1 as a common factor and in bracket left in bracket left this m squared plus m plus 1 and this plus 3 in bracket left m squared plus m plus 1 and plus 3 is equal to 0 next m plus 1 times m squared plus m plus 1 plus 3 4 is equal to 0 now from here either this expression m plus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus m plus 4 is equal to 0 and from here m is equal to negative 1 this is the first value of m now from here we see that the discriminant of this quadratic equation is less than 0 or greater than 0 in this equation a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 4 and discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac that is equal to value of b 1 squared minus 4 times value of a is 1 times value of c is 4 and this is equal to 1 minus 4 times 1 times 4 16 so the discriminant that is also called delta is equal to negative 15 that is less than 0 so no real solutions can be found from here so we accept only this value of m negative 1 no recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x minus y is equal to m we have supposed that x minus y is equal to m in this equation we put the value of m negative 1 x minus y is equal to the value of m is negative 1 now if we move uh, this uh, negative 1 to the left side and we move this uh, negative y to the right side then this implies y is equal to x plus 1 now we put this value of y x plus 1 
in equation 2. This is equation 2 x y is equal to 1. Equation 2 is x y is equal to 1. In this equation we put the value of y x plus 1. x times value of y is x plus 1 is equal to 1. Next x times x x squared and x times plus 1 plus x and we move this one to the left side this becomes a negative 1 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to negative 1 and according to quadratic formula x is equal to minus value of b 1 plus or minus square root of value of b 1 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c negative 1 divided by 2 times value of a 1 and this is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 plus 4 1 plus 4 5 divided by 2 so from here we get two values of x x1 is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and value of x2 is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x is equal to cube root of square root of 5 minus 2. So, the value of x is the simplified form of this expression and because this expression cube root of square root of 5 minus 2 must be greater than 0. So, this value of x2 negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 is less than 0. So, this value of x will be rejected and this value of x1 negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 is greater than 0. So, this is the simplified form of that expression and this is the final answer.